Hi, in this video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to create blood dripping text using GIMP and you don't need any special skills to do this. Let's go to file, new and type in 1400 pixels for width and 900 for height then click OK. Next let's go to edit, fill with foreground color. Next with the text tool I'm going to click and type dripping blood then Control a to select O and change the color of the text from here to this red color then click OK. Next I'm going to change the size of the text to 200 pixels then I'll select the font, this one you can use another one if you want to and then with the move tool I'm going to position the text Next I'll create a new layer with the defaults, brush tool, I'll select this brush. Next I'm going to change the dynamics here to this untitled and I'll click on this option to edit them and I'll select this option here size fade. Next I'm going to change the size of the brush to 15. Next click on the dynamics options and select this reverse option. Also change the fade length to 200 and I'm also going to click here on the color selection dialog to change the color to this red. So let's start and you can just click and drag and if you want to get a straight line you can click hold down the shift key and also the control key to get a straight line and you see how this works and now you can just keep experimenting until you get the desired results this is not an exact science next I want to show you how you can create drops you can go ahead here and change the fade length to 20 and just click and drag like this and you can create drops you can also change the size of the brush to let's say 20 pixels and you see now we have bigger drops let's change the size to 10 pixels and now we can paint smaller drops now let's undo this control Z and go back to the fade length and change it again to 200 and I'm going to keep painting here I'm also going to change the brush size to 15 and I'll continue experimenting I'm also going to pause here to do this so I created my blood dripping text and I did it using all the tricks that I showed you and I'm going back here to my layers tab shift click over here to make this one visible and you see the dripping blood here is on separate layer and this makes it easy for us to delete some of it if you want to so with the eraser tool I'm going to reset the options click here on the dynamics options to remove this and then I can just delete some of these if I don't like them for example so this is how you can use the eraser tool to edit the blood dripping after it's done and that's it for this tutorial, I hope that it was useful, if it was, subscribe, like the video, that's it for now, bye.